Uh, the case involving the Defense of Marriage Act stemmed from a New York woman who was involved in a same-sex marriage who sued uh, because she had to pay $360,000 in additional taxes because after her, her married wife, her, her wife died, they were married in Canada legally, uh, she felt that was unfair. And in fact, that led to the, the historic decision to throw out the Domestic or the Defense of Marriage Act, the provisions that say you can treat people differently in different states uh, under federal law. And we have an interesting perspective now. We have Tom Shevlin from New York City who is in a same-sex marriage and who is happy about today's decision. Tom, how important uh, is this uh, just in particular to people in New York, because this is where this case came from, but to uh, same-sex marriages in general? Well, it's, it's monumentally important. Um, for me in particular, it makes a difference of whether or not I can continue to live in my own country. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, I've been... I've been with my husband now for four years. We've been married for a year and a half. But I don't have the same rights to give him the immigration benefits that he would have if he were a woman. So uh, we've struggled for four years to find ways to stay together legally in the same country. And it's been very expensive. And, uh, you know, we, if, if the ruling had gone the other way, um, I was planning to uh, leave my job and move overseas so we could stay together. Now, in New York State, is same-sex marriage the law right now? Yes. Yes, it was passed in 2011. And you mentioned that uh, this will enable you to uh, obtain a green card uh, for, for your, your, your spouse. Is it, was that yes. specifically addressed in the Supreme Court ruling today, or is it just because it sweepingly says federal laws can't discriminate, you're confident that it will be addressed? Uh, well, actually, I spent a lot of time reading the decision to try and figure out exactly to make sure it applied to me. Um, I'm... I, I think that it does. Uh, uh, it wasn't confined to just giving Edith Windsor her money back. There, there seemed to be a broad ruling that the, that the uh, Section 3 of DOMA was unconstitutional. So I expect that I'll now be treated under federal law as a, as, as a married spouse, and therefore my, my husband will get a green card, which the only, the only reason he hasn't gotten one so far is because of DOMA. It was not until June of last year that the president, a liberal Democrat, endorsed gay marriage. Are you surprised how fast we've come on this issue? I'm amazed by how fast we've come, but I'm not, I'm not surprised because the world's changing. I mean, it doesn't, the thing about being gay is once people get to know us and, and, and understand our issues and once we're able to express how, how we feel and what our lives are like, people change their views. It's, you know, the, it's the fear of the unknown that has prevented us from having equal rights for a long time. But through time, more and more people know gay people, more gay people come out. And uh, I think it just, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a new awakening of, of fairness and society in general. Thank you very much for coming on.